was having a chat with somebody yesterday or the day before or the day before that. <laughs> right, you recall. And uh, we, were, we were talking about a, a fantastic concertina player, a gentleman called Simon Tumir. And uh, he's extraordinary, an extraordinary man, an extraordinary musician. And, uh, and we were t chatting about a tune that he'd written and uh, I was thinking about it. Yeah, I'm going to play that. And it's a tune that he wrote called The Granton Fish Bowl. And uh, apparently he did a gig in Granton, which is in Edinburgh, it's like a suburb. And uh, it wasn't the best gig he'd ever done. And in fact, the only good thing about the gig was they had one of those spherical fish bowls. And uh, so he wrote it a tune. <laughs> and, this, and this is the tune. <laughs> Thank you. 
to finish with. <laughs> it seems so bizarre. Hey, I'm here. Hi. Uh, uh, I'm going to play you, yeah, as Rachel said, yeah, I just played yeah, a lovely St. Bernard's waltz. Uh, I'm going to play you a, a couple of waltzes if you, they're kind of European -y style, roundy, roundy things rather than old school, slow things. And uh, if you'd like to dance, that would be kind of what the tunes are for, really. <laughs> but if you don't, I can't really see you that well, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just imagine. Oh, and my eyes will be sh shut, so. <laughs> Two tunes. The first tune there uh, is a tune that I made up called To the Edges, and it's dedicated to um, the great British bed and breakfast. <laughs> so I've stayed in very many over the years and there's there's a thing that happens you come down in the morning and there's it's almost in you know what's going to happen when it when it's the embossed rims of the plates that's a clue to what's going to happen and there'll be a usually kind of either oval or kind of hexagonal embossed pottery thing in the middle with a lid on it and you get your toast and uh, you take the lid off the thing in the middle and inside there's loads of little plastic preformed things with aluminium foil on the top containing not enough butter for your slice of toast. <laughs> you need about two and a half of them. You know. I don't know what's wrong with a pat of butter, but anyway, you know, and I'm not even going to go into the toast thing and the toast cooler. <laughs> Actually, I might. You know the toast cooler? And it always, you know this is always going to happen. You go, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, toast, yeah, white, brown, wholemeal, you know, wheat, yeah, whatever. They, there's always a choice, and you order it, and they go and they make it lovely, beautiful, and then they put it in a toast cooler, <laughs> and they bring it and present it to you, and it's, it's you know, dry, and, you know, lovely yeah. and cold, and the, and the lovely toast cooler is nice and warm. <laughs> so, yeah, it makes me a little bit grumpy, <laughs> so I never get up for breakfast anymore. <laughs> anyway, I'll, play, I'll follow it. That's to the edges. I like my butters to go to the edges of my toast, just in case you're interested. And then, so, so, we, so we've got that thing, and then afterwards a tune called Robins that was written by my dear friend, a, a gentleman. He's a real English gentleman. Gentleman. His name is Jonathan Rock Phipps Swain. And that's not what makes him a gentleman. What makes him a gentleman is the fact that he, uh, he used to work for his family's firm of solicitors called Swain, Swain and Swain. <laughs> and he gave, up, he gave up being a solicitor to make bagpipes. <laughs> what a man. It's totally brilliant. So yeah, if you fancy Wolfs and, and then some other stuff that I'm not quite sure what's going to happen, really. I should do, but I don't really. 